Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Victoria here. As I mentioned in my previous episode, in today's episode we are going to go through my budget, my July budget, review what I spent in the month of July, and I'm also going to review my budget categories and my sinking funds to see if I need to make some adjustments. Some of my fixed costs have changed since January when I first did my 2023 budgeting when I first determined in each category how much money I'm going to put in each month. So I need to make some adjustments to them. Most of the changes are going to be regarding the variable costs and each budget category in which I put every month a certain amount. And then I use that throughout the month and then I roll it over to the next month. If I have any rollover or if, if I'm in a minus, I also bring it to the next month. I add again a new amount to the virtual wallet in that budget category. And then it's a continuous adding and spending, adding and spending. And also in the variable cost categories, I would like to make some changes because in some of these categories where I have been putting in Every month's money, but I was not spending, I have accumulated a lot in the virtual envelope, while in some other categories I have been spending way more than what I was assigning each month. So I have accumulated a bigger sum of minus expenses in some categories. So I need to review that in today's video and make some changes to my monthly budget and my monthly sum in each category well in some of the categories not all of them so let's go through my july budget as well as my monthly amounts that i allocate for each budget category and let's check how we are sending and where i need to make some changes so as you can see, my rent has not been changing luckily in the past six months, seven months. In July, it was again the same amount. This includes my rent as well as some part of the additional costs related to living in an apartment. So I live in an apartment building. So there are some costs that are associated with the cleaning, the waste removal uh, and also the cold water which is included in this 575.84. And then I also pay electricity and heating separately. The annual review of these uh, extra costs uh, that I mentioned regarding the apartment, the waste removal, the cleaning of the common areas, as well as um, some other amenities that I have in the apartment building, have been done uh, this month and we received, my landlord received the annual invoice and apparently I had an overpayment of around 80 euros in my account there. So in the month of August, one time only, I will have to pay less rent, uh, which is going to be 80 euros less than what I normally pay. So it's going to be around 490 euros, I believe around that 495 euros for August. But other than that, uh, I will go back to the usual amount in September. So I'm not going to make any adjustment there. The house insurance, I'm still waiting. I'm probably going to learn in August, early September, how much my annual house insurance is going to be for the year of 2024 or from September onwards. I paid annually last year, um, I paid around 150 euros. So I have been calculating with the same amount or more or less the same amount for this year, a little bit higher because every year they raise it a little bit. So I have been calculating with 14 euros and 50 cents per month for the insurance. And yeah, I'm still waiting for the details on how much it is exactly going to be and how I will need to adjust this. I will pay that either in August or September, probably in September. Uh, the heating, I'm also waiting for the annual review and the annual bill, uh, whether I have to, whether or not I have to pay some extra based on the amounts that I paid for the year already, or whether I might actually have an overpayment, which means that I might not need to pay in the next month so this annual invoice is coming soon i think about in october so i definitely will have to pay my 
heating in August, again, the 96 euros, and maybe even in October. And then let's see if at the end of the year I have an overpayment or I still have to pay some extra. But I expect that I have actually overpayment because I was comparing my usage with, uh, with 2022 and I used less heating this year and my heating price went up. So let's see how it will look like. Electricity. Well, this is something that uh, I'm going to adjust a little bit because I think I adjusted it throughout the year once already and I went down to 14.40, but I think I need to go back up to, to 20 euros per month. However, they owe me actually based on the annual bill and the annual review of how much I paid and how much I used and the comparison of that. And then they either give you um, an allowance because you use less or they ask you to pay more because you use more. So um, I had an allowance of 55 euros that they said that they were going to just send this money back to me, but they didn't. And in August, my first bill is coming up from after the break when I didn't have to pay for a few months because of my overpayment. Uh, so they didn't send this money back to me, but I'm supposed to, s to pay 80 euros this month in August. And I'm just hoping that we they will not deduct 80 euros. They will just deduct 35 euros, considering that I overpaid to them. And if that's the case, then the, then this 14 euros 40 cents is actually per month is actually going to cover for this year my expenses. And then in January, I will have to review again uh, how much I put per month. But if they pay out that 20, uh, that 55 and then they deduct that 80, then I would have to adjust this. So it's a bit complicated, but basically. I think I'm not going to touch this for now, but I am going to wait until the 10th of August when they deduct the amount to see how much they deducted. And I'm hoping that it will be 35 euros only rather than 85 or 80. Then going to the internet and mobile. I believe this one I have to adjust because I always forgot to consider um, that every June I have to pay another 50 euros for my internet contract or for my mobile and internet contract. So normally I pay 70 euros per month, but every June it's an additional five or an additional 50 euros. So I am going to adjust the monthly payment to 78 euros because that is the 70 euros per month plus the 50 euros every 12 months, if I calculate it per month. And in July, I actually had to pay 78 euros and 61 cents because I ran out of my mobile data when I was traveling for work. And in Poland, we didn't have Wi-Fi where we were staying. We didn't have access to Wi-Fi, so I had to use all my mobile data all the time. And I ran out of it and I still had one more week to go until I changed months. Like my contract is not from 1st of June to end of June, 30th of June, but it's from 14th to the 14th or something like that. So I still had more than one week to go until it resets and I get back my next month's mobile data. So I had to purchase some additional one that is why and it was six six or seven euros that is why this month um, i paid 78 euros and 61 cents and from this month onward i'm going to put 78 euros in this budget category and i have a balance of minus 41 euros and 98 cents at the moment so let's see if i can catch up on that until the end of the year and then in january this will have to be reviewed again and let's just not forget about that additional 50 euros in June. Subscriptions in July, I started to pay again for my Netflix. I had a few months break in it because a friend of mine who I share my Netflix with, she owed me some money. So we deducted the, my Netflix from what she owed me instead of her paying that to me. And I am paying back every month for the Netflix. But in July, I started to pay again, eight 
is it no it's six euros per month and then i also have my spotify my google photos subscription and one more thing and netflix no netflix spotify and youtube premium of course so overall it's 18 euros per month that's not going to change and i have a balance of 31 euros 64 cents which comes from the fact that for a few months i didn't pay for netflix but i still put the 18 euros per month so actually i could have um lower this amount but i'm gonna do that in january not now i think charity this is five euros per month it's staying um and i'm paying it every march retirement savings for this year it's only 11 euros per month uh just because i had some rolled over from last year uh, i'm gonna pay that in december health insurance this, I had to adjust this because the way I was doing my payments <laughs> was a bit silly because I have to pay quarterly and the invoice comes in the middle months of the quarter rather than in the last months of the quarter. But the way I was putting in the per month amount was that I put in in the first, the second and the third month of the quarter. So when I paid my bill in the second month of the quarter, I didn't have yet the amount that I needed to cover my health insurance because that would only come the months after. So now I kind of changed this and in uh, June and July I put a higher amount. I put 218 euros and four cents which means that in two months I collected the sum of money that I need for the whole quarter. And then from September onwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start already in September to collect the funds for the fourth quarter. So it's going to be September, October, November, paying the fourth quarter for which the bill is coming in November. And then December, January and February, I'm going to put in the sum, put in the amount for the first quarter of 2024, which I'm going to pay then in uh, February 20. 24. So this is actually going to be um, from September onwards, it's going to be 145 euros and 40 cents again. But in July and August, it was 218 euros and 04 cents. Uh, actually, I'm going to adjust this to 146. Is it 146? Yes. And then finally, the bank costs, which I also pay quarterly, but at the end of the quarter. So uh, I paid it at the end of June and I'm going to pay it at the end of September again. Um, and currently I have 13 euros and 86 cents in this budget category. And I have to adjust this because my bank costs also went up. So I'm going to adjust it to seven actually from July onwards uh, already. Yeah, so the rest of the uh, fixed costs uh, are going to stay like this, except for maybe the electricity will change after the 10th of August, uh, depending on what my company will do with it. Let's move on to the variable costs. So one of the budget categories in which I have been way overspending in the last few months was the dining out and takeout budget category. Um, in June it was extreme and then in July again it was quite high. I had my birthday, I was eating out, inviting my family a few times and yeah, I guess I was just eating out more. Also with friends, we ordered in a couple times uh, as well. I was not so disciplined with cooking at home because it was so hot. I didn't really feel like spending my time in the kitchen cooking plus making the kitchen and the whole apartment warmer. It was already almost 30 degrees inside here in my apartment. So um, that's why I spent 193 euros in July again uh, over my budget, which is 140 euros per month. And so now I decided to adjust that for the next few months because now I accumulated a minus 180. 86 euros or almost 187 euros in this budget category 
So I decided to put this budget higher for the next uh, six or next five months of the year and hoping that I will be able to catch up on this minus with this higher amount and I am determined to eat out less and spend less. Eating out is just so expensive these days or this year. It used to be a bit more affordable before, but since the war, the energy crisis and the pandemic, um, it, it is really unbelievably expensive. I hope that I will be able to catch up with a 170 euro per month budget for the next five months. And let's see how it goes. Meanwhile, the groceries with the 200 euros per month, I have been doing quite well with that. This month I went a little bit over, but overall in the last seven uh, months, I was doing quite well. I was most of the time under budget. So I had a rollover and I'm still in positive 45 euros and 83 cents in this budget category. Overall, uh, in July, I kind of focused on filling up my pantry and purchasing items to have at home. I have made some videos about it where I go shopping, how, where, how do I catch the sales, what I pay attention to when it comes to groceries, where do I buy my groceries, how do I fill up my pantry. So now I have a pretty well stocked pantry. There might be a few items that I still need. So now I can make my usual recipes easily and I just have to buy and focus on buying fresh produce in order to make recipes and I have the pantry items more or less stocked that's why I went over a little bit this budget but not much so it's fine and I'm not planning to touch the grocery budget I'm planning to leave it as it is also another thing that has changed in my grocery budget is that I am focusing more on quality products, buying bio organic products rather than the normal ones and buying really ingredients rather than processed ready things uh, as much as possible. Of course, <laughs> I also eat processed food because it's very difficult to avoid it completely, but I'm trying to eat healthy. So um, one of the main changes that I kind of decided to make for myself and for my health was to eat primarily bio-organic produce and products in general. Maybe not all products, but most of them, and especially when it comes to produce, especially the dirty dozen. So the dirty dozen are the, the fruits and vegetables which potentially have the highest amount of harmful chemicals and pesticides on them that then you consume together with the produce and then it can cause diseases in humans as well in the long term the more you intake of course the higher the chance that you will develop some kind of a health problem because of that so i'm trying to adjust uh, my uh, consumption in that sense and eating cleaner, less chemicals, less pesticides, more just healthier stuff, cleaner stuff, hopefully. I mean, that's the idea behind it, but you can never fully control and confirm whatever you consume that it is actually not harmful for you until way later when, if you become ill, then of course it's already too late, but you will never know what exactly caused it. Anyway, moving on to the next category, which is the gift category. Uh, I spent nine euros and 80 cents in this category. I bought a book for a friend and I have a rollover of 13 euros and five euro cents in this budget category. I feel like this 20 euros, it's too low, but thinking about the upcoming months, I don't think I have too many friends with birthdays or like babies coming or anything like that so I'm hoping that I can pull off the next few months with just this 20 euro budget in the gift category and then for 2024 I will most likely have to raise this because it will not be sufficient 
Then the car budget is 10 euros per month, which I'm leaving as it is. I have a rollover of 71 euros. At the end of the year, I will have to purchase an annual toll sticker or whatever you want to call it um, for Austria, which is almost 100 euros. So I'm collecting for that. And in the meantime, if I have to fuel the car or if I have to spend on parking, it is also going from this budget category. And uh, yeah, this month I spent 40 cents on half an hour of parking in my hometown. <laughs> this is staying as it is. The bus and taxi fare this month I spent on one day ticket in Vienna, which was five euros and 80 cents. But I have a rollover of 20 eight euros and 50 cents from the last few months because I have been going everywhere by bike. When the weather is good, I go by bike and I tend to spend more on public transport when it's cold, so in the winter season. So then I usually go over budget, but then in the summer I really spend the minimum. And since I have a rollover of 28 euros and 50 cents, I am confident that I can lower this budget category to 20 euros for the next five months of the year and I'm hoping that in August, September and even October I will still be able to primarily use my bike to go to places and only in November, December I would have to need, I would need to use public transport more. That's the, that's the idea. Clothing? Well, uh, finally I reached the point where I have kind of spent all the money that I saved in the last one and a half years while I was doing a no-buy last year, a complete clothes no-buy, but I was still putting the 50 euros into my budgeting, into my clothes budget. And I had, at the end of the year, I had around 600 euros uh, collected. Plus, of course, since January, I also have been putting these 50 euros into the clothing budget. But then in the last few months, I spent quite a lot on clothing, uh, replacing items, a lot of replacements for sure. Some of new things and a lot of thrifting and secondhand stuff. And yeah, I reached the point where I kind of spent all my budget on clothing now. And I'm thinking of doing another no-buy or starting another no-buy. Uh, I have a list of things that I still need to purchase. So those will be the exceptions. Um, I will need to, like, for example, sandals. I am still on the market for, but I already kind of gave up on it this year. So maybe it's going to be only next year that I can buy sandals because, yeah, the season is kind of over now for purchasing sandals. And there are a few other things that I have in mind, like uh, I probably need to declutter my sport shoe, like for the street, um, my street sport shoe or whatever you call it, my sneakers, I guess. And I would have to replace that. And I have a, well, I have a new one, which is completely white, but I would need one which I can also wear when it's raining. So like a more weather resistant color and material. There is just a few things on this list, but I will probably have a new no-buy for clothing. And I will actually start decluttering and selling stuff again. In fact, I'm going to a flea market in less than two weeks to sell some of my stuff in Vienna in Build Invest on the 12th of August. So if you want to meet me there or if you are interested in thrifting and buying secondhand, or if you like flea markets, then feel free to come and check it out. It is from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, 12th of August. I will be there and try to sell some of my and my mom's and my brother's old clothes as well. The monthly budget for clothing is going to stay 50 euros, and I keep going to put that into my uh into the virtual envelope but um i'm hoping not to really spend from this or at least you know not go thrifting for fun and not go to the flea market where i am supposed to sell and instead buy more clothes which i actually don't need <laughs> 
I managed to actually fill up a lot of the holes in my closet that I wanted to. Like I managed to buy a white pants, I managed to buy a new coat. This year I managed to buy a new handbag. I managed to buy a new, um, new jeans as well that I needed and some other things that I, I wanted for a long time. So now I'm at a point when I really just have a few more things that I think that my wardrobe needs, but I really don't need another blazer or I really don't, don't need another dress at the moment. <laughs> Let's continue to self-care. Well, self-care, I actually was hoping that this month I would not spend that all on self-care, but then I ran out of my sunscreen for my face, so I definitely needed to repurchase that. And then I also had to buy some toothpaste, and then I made a mistake with the amount of tooth tops that I bought, and uh, it was way more expensive than I hoped it would be but I probably don't have to buy any toothpaste or tooth tabs in the next next five to six months or even longer, let's see. <laughs> so uh, once again, I overspent in this budget category and now I have a minus of 45 euros and 49 cents, but I am refusing and I'm reluctant to change my 35 euro monthly budget here. I'm still hoping that I can catch up on this. I have a very well stocked um, back stock of skincare products and hygiene products at the moment. So I'm hoping that I won't need to spend more than the monthly 35 euros in the next five months. And I can catch up on this minus of 44.49. Let's see how it goes. The furniture category uh, is again another 50 euros per month. I have now um, an accumulation of 750 euros in this virtual budget category, or we can call it the sinking fund. This month I bought one lamp, which was seven, six euros and 51 cents. Uh, I bought it in Hungary. This is why the amount is a bit strange because it was in Hungarian foreigns and then I exchanged it to, to euros that I always calculate in euros. Um, so I'm not gonna change this. I keep putting this amount into the furniture category because at some point I am going to move and I will need some new furniture or I want to upgrade some furniture in this apartment. So I will need this budget to actually grow way more because from 750 euros these days you cannot really buy any piece of furniture which is a better quality probably in ikea you can get a bed for it and that's about it or maybe a couch so yeah then supplies and maintenance is a budget category that i'm definitely going to lower the the input per month because i have been putting in the past seven months, 50 euros every month. And I have an accu accumulation of 261 euros in this budget category. This month I only spent on uh, laundry, which was four times one euro, uh, nothing else. And I don't think that in the next uh, five months there could be any huge expenses that would be over this 260 plus the monthly contribution. So I'm going to lower my monthly contribution to only 20 euros per month. Then uh, the investment account, I have been actually spending 100 euros on investments every month rather than 300. And I have been putting 300 in this budget category, but I'm going to lower that back to 100 per month uh, since in the next few months my income will be lower than in the previous months so um, I need to lower my costs and this is a, a big one that I can do. I anyway have 2000 euros extra in this budget category from all the extra 200 euros that I have been putting in this budget category in the past 10 months and then actually not investing them. So. <laughs> Yeah, I might invest this 2000 into something. I will think of something or I will use that as like a security fund, even though I have a separate security fund, which I don't really talk about because I don't want to expose 100% and completely my, my budget and my uh, expenses and my income. 
So the travel and the security fund category, I always leave blank because that is something that I'm not comfortable to share 100%. Then um, the sport category. This month I overspent in the sport category. Normally it is a 70 euro budget per month, which includes my MyClub subscription, which is 49 euros per month. And it also includes any additional costs. If I want to go salsa dancing and salsa workshops, then those would be... 8 to 15 euros per occasion and this month i purchased a few items sports related items i got a helmet for biking i also got a water bottle holder for my bike and i also got um, these swimming shoes that you need uh, when you go to the sea where the bottom of the sea is uh, not sand but rather stones and sea urchins so yeah that's why my spending is a bit over because it was the usual my clubs some dancing workshops and the purchases in decathlon are also included in this 124 but i still have an over flow (laughs) overflow or like i still have a positive balance of 43 euros and 20 cents in this budget category So I'm going to leave these 70 euros. I think that is pretty realistic. And then I'm not going to talk about travel again, but I'm going to talk about blow money. So this month I spent 25 euros from the blow money uh, budget category, which was... ah, One time I went to a Latin party and the entry ticket was 7 euros. And I also had to replace the protecting cover foil or like this glass cover on my phone and I actually got now a more expensive not glass version that if I drop my phone the glass foil will not break then that that I would have to replace again because every six months if I spend 10 euros on replacing that foil and now I spend 18 euros but it's not a glass protector rather it's a plastic one so hopefully it won't break if I drop the phone and I don't have to replace it so frequently so that was from my blow money as well security fund uh, as usual I'm not talking about Uh, going back to the blow money I actually wanted to adjust this as well because I have 195 euros and 53 cents accumulated in this budget category so I decided to actually go down to 20 euros per month uh, contribution in this budget category because I don't need uh, such a high amount of contribution for the next five months and then in January I will review it again um, how it goes. So this month was a pretty low spending month with 1486 euros sorry, 1,468 euros and 34 cents. Maybe we can do a bit of a a comparison per month for July was the lowest spending month when it comes to my fixed costs in the year so far. No, it was not the lowest spending month, but it was among the lower spending months in in the year so whenever i can go below 700 euros that's like a very good month but as you can see in february or in may i was over 1000 euros in the fixed cost total and in august it's gonna go up again because i will again have to pay for the health insurance i will have to pay for electricity and so on and so forth and then for the variable cost, it was also a pretty low spending month, also among the, the lowest three in the year. My total was also in the lower, lowest three in the, in the year. Uh, and finally, let's talk about the sinking funds. Well, I don't really have like a particular sinking fund at the moment, other than the Christmas one, which is for sure a sinking fund that I'm collecting money for the Christmas gifts that I will buy my family and friends and I'm putting 35 euros every month in that category and then I have a few other ones where in some of them I already have like in the Vitamix the roller skates and in the MacBook category I already have the money and then I have two other ones where I'm still adding every month so in July I added 250 in the jewelry category I would like to purchase some nice gold or silver jewelry 
maybe like some sets as well we'll see and then um, a camera i would like to get a proper camera for filming my youtube videos so at the moment i have 750 euros available for the camera and over 500 euros for the jewelry and then for christmas i have 372 my goal is to reach 600 for the christmas one for the jewelry i didn't really do a research and also for the camera i don't really know what is the goal exactly so whenever i have some extra income i add it and whenever i don't have it like in june i didn't have then i didn't put and in august i also won't put or maybe i will yeah in, in august i can still do it but yeah i'm not going to make big adjustments here um i'm still contemplating this macbook and i really should just or buy roller skates honestly but i still need to research which one and where should, should i order it from and, and so on so we'll see other than this yeah basically that was today's video the budgeting video where i review my budget and we also went through my july budget i hope it was interesting if you have any questions regarding the way i budget maybe it wasn't so clear how i do it um, maybe i just don't have the vocabulary to explain it uh, so well or maybe the way i set up this uh, excel file is not easily understandable so if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and uh, i hope you like this video check out my other videos as well and i hope you will subscribe to my channel to follow me along my journey and i'm looking forward to see you at my next videos also hit the like button and until next time goodbye